1924, Monsignor Thomas Conroy, often called the rebuilder of the cathedral, began extensive modifications to the interior of the cathedral. He installed the renowned hand-carved sanctuary reredos and the bishop's chair or cathedra for which all cathedrals are named. The reredos made of Belgian oak was designed by A. Morat of Chicago, a member of the Beaux Arts of Paris. The intricate work was executed by artists at Omer Amagal and Cleveland, Ohio in the 1930s, and the figurines and turrets were hand-carved on site by two Tyrolese craftsmen. The Reredos dramatizes the redemption of humanity flowing from Christ on the cross through the apostles and the early church fathers to more recent saints. This entire work is adorned with many watchful angels. The Reredos is surmounted by the crucified Christ, the Sorrowful Mother, and St. John. Directly beneath, a dove, symbolic of the Holy Spirit, is shown as a guide to the Twelve Apostles. Below, on each side of the tabernacle, are shown settings of the wedding at Cana and the multiplication of the loaves and fish, with details of our Lord, children, the Virgin Mary, the Apostles, Andrew and Peter, along with a throng of followers. On the left side of the altar, Fathers of the Byzantine Church or Eastern Rite are represented by St. John Chrysostom, St. Athanasius, St. Gregory Nazianzen, St. Basil, and St. Cyril. On the right side, Fathers of the Roman Church or Western Rite are represented by St. Augustine, St. Ambrose, St. Jerome, St. Gregory the Great, and St. Thomas Aquinas. Missionaries of religious orders, or of nationalities whose members pass through this diocese, are also depicted on the sides of the Rerodos. On the right, statues of St. Francis of Assisi, St. Patrick, and St. Therese of Lisieux are present. The left panel represents St. Dominic, St. Ignatius of Loyola, and St. Teresa of Avila. The carved figures of the Virgin Mary to the far left and St. Joseph on the far right complete this entire unit of faith. The life-sized crucifix that hangs opposite the bishop's chair and over the priest's celebrant's chair was originally suspended in St. Augustine Church, the first church to be built on what is now known as Cathedral Square. It represents Christ crucified for our sins. The original burial site of the cathedral's builder, Monsignor Julian Benoit, was located at the head of the main aisle, indicated by the marker. However, in 1906, a modern crypt was excavated beneath the sanctuary. It is the burial site of former bishops and rectors, and it remains to this day the privilege of church dignitaries, especially diocesan bishops, to be buried in the crypt. On the top of the crypt's marble altar, five crosses commemorate the five wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ, the cornerstone of the Catholic Church. In the center of the altar, a relic from the Roman catacombs serves as witness of the many martyrs of the faith honored in our daily masses. Under the leadership of Bishop John M. Darcy, the cathedral was closed on Easter Sunday, 1998, for a major restoration and renovation. The work was geared toward preserving the grandeur of the cathedral, while also allowing a fitting setting for the celebration of the Eucharist. 
Like many great churches and majestic cathedrals throughout the world, this beautiful edifice stands in the midst of our city as a place where generations have come to lift their hearts to God, finding here an atmosphere for prayer and a deep sense of God's majesty and presence. The cathedral was reopened and consecrated anew on December 8, 1998, and continues to be a beautiful and inspiring place of worship.